in this video we'll discuss about two wire transmitter which is also known as loop power transmitter so the transmitters are used in industries for measuring the physical variables like temperature pressure flow level ph conductivity etc and this transmitter will provide the electrical output that is proportional to the incoming physical variable signal so the most common output of the transmitter is 4 to 20 milliampere because it is having the advantage of transmitting the signal over the long distance with little or no loss of signal so in this figure if you see the transmitter shares the same two weights of the 24 volt dc power supply for transmitting the 4 to 20 milliampere signal that is why it is known as loop power transmitter so 24 volts is most commonly used uh, dc power supply in addition to this 12 volts 15 volts 36 volts dc power supply also used so the power supply must be greater than the, the sum of the minimum voltage that is required for the transmitter uh, and this may be 10 volts or 12 volts and de it depends upon the type of the transmitter and also the manufacturer plus IR drop in the receiver so this may this receiver may be a PLC module or a controller where the current signal is converted to voltage plus the drop in the transmission line there is a long transmission line so the typical block diagram of the transmitter will be look like this so in here the physical variable is the temperature so the microcontroller measures temperature using the ADC and depending upon the process variable so the microcontroller will give a command to the DAC for transmitting the 4 to 20 milliampere signal so this transmitter will also supports a hot field bus so which will be useful for uh, remote uh, diagnosis and uh, calibration of the transmitter so in this um, we are having the formula for calculating the acceptable load resistance the load resistance will determine the distance between the uh, transmitter and the control room where the plc or uh, any control system will be located and the formula is the load resistance or should be less than that of the uh, power supply that is uh, powering the transmitter minus minimum voltage that is uh, required for operating the transmitter in this case i have taken 10 volts by the maximum current in the loop that is 20 milliamperes suppose if you take power supply mm, yes 20 volts dc then we will get around 500 ohms and if you the receiver if you are uh, using 250 ohms for converting the 4 to 20 milliampere uh, to 1 to 5 volts then we are having a margin of 250 ohms suppose if you are using a 1 square mm signal cable which is having a 20 ohms per kilometer per core then the theoretical distance between the transmitter and receiver is 250 by 40 because 20 ohms single core 2 core means 40 ohms then it can be connected uh, in 6 kilometer distance uh, so this is how a two-way transmitter is uh, connected to the controller so the power source is in um, series with the transmitter and the controller in the controller the current is converted to voltage and then it is uh, further processed by the controller using the ADC so this is how a four-way transmitter uh, look like so in some applications or some transmitters uh, will not able to operate by the, the 4 to 20 milliampere uh, signal so in that cases so we have will go for four way where there are separate uh, wires for power source and separate uh, wire for uh, transmitting the 4 to 20 milliampere signal thank you for watching my video